The catacombs of Paris are man-made underground tunnels which hold the remains of more than 6 million people. Although the section that houses the dead comprises only a small portion of the underground, Parisians often refer to the entire tunnel network as the catacombs. Being directly under the streets of Paris, large foundations cannot be built above, as cave-ins have previously destroyed buildings. For this reason, there are few tall buildings in the area. By the 18th century, enough people had lived and died in Paris that its cemeteries were overflowing. Paris's oldest and largest cemetery, Holy Innocents, had long been using mass graves to store almost a thousand years worth of dead. To make room for more burials, they had already exhumed those who were long dead and packed their bones into the roofs and walls of galleries built inside the cemetery. At its worst, the central burial ground of Holy Innocents was a two-meter-high mound of earth filled with the dead. These mass graves were overstuffed to the point that corpses, at times, became uncovered. People living in the area complained of a strong smell of decomposing flesh, and major public health problems in Paris were tied to these overflowing cemeteries. In 1780, a basement wall collapsed under the weight of a mass grave behind it, spilling rotten corpses into a neighbouring property. This was the catalyst to finally transfer the contents of the graves to an underground site. A subterranean tunnel network already existed under Paris, from centuries of unchecked and unregulated mining, and a small section of these tunnels would be used to store the bodies. In 1786, they began exhuming Paris's cemeteries, beginning with Holy Innocents. The bones were transported at night to avoid hostile reactions from the public, and were dumped into two quarry wells. It would take them 12 years to empty the majority of Paris's cemeteries. During the French Revolution, the dead were placed directly into the catacombs. For the first few decades, the catacombs were disorganized, but in 1810, the tunnels were renovated and the bones were stacked into the walls and patterns that you see today. In 1809, the catacombs were open to the public by appointment, and today they are open to everyone, welcoming nearly 550,000 visitors per year. A little more than a mile of the catacombs is open for visitors to explore. It takes around 45 minutes to walk through, and guides are available, but not required. The tunnels extend many more miles under the city, but it's illegal to visit most areas. Val de Grace Hospital doorkeeper Philiberta Spert became lost in the catacombs during 1793. His body was found 11 years later, and now, on the spot where the body was found, lies his tomb. During 2004, police discovered a fully equipped movie theatre in an area of the catacombs. It was equipped with a giant cinema screen, seats for the audience, projection equipment, film reels of recent thrillers and film noir classics, a fully stocked bar, and a complete restaurant with tables and chairs. The group Les UX took responsibility for the installation. During 2015, Airbnb paid €350,000 as part of a publicity stunt offering customers the chance to stay overnight in the catacombs. The site was consecrated as the Paris Municipal Ossuary, and from that time forward, took on the name of catacombs. The origin of the word catacomb isn't exactly known. It is thought to have once been a proper name, or possibly to come from the Latin phrase catatumbas, meaning among the tombs. Catacombs originally only referred to the Roman catacombs, but has been extended to refer to any subterranean receptacle of the dead, 